taking over the spotlight I'm on a roll, ready for the show now It's go time Watch what I do Watch what I do I see you looking Watch what I do Oh my, my, my Oh my, my, my Watch what I do Do Okay, so that was a video of uh, the new terminal for Microsoft. And it's quite popular. Look, a video for a terminal with almost a million views, 700k. Well, that's something. Um, a little bit too flashy for my taste, but eh, whatever, right? So I wanted to do a review about that terminal over here. And I introduce it to you, right? It's quite nifty, pretty. Um, apparently it can be accelerated uh, with your GPU uh, this allows for using ligatures um, doing stuff with emojis and stuff like that right like this uh, uh, some people apparently need ligatures and emojis in your terminal I don't get why but I don't judge okay so now what are the alternatives to this thing? Was it necessary or not? Uh, the truth is that the terminal from Microsoft, uh, the, the past one uh, whose name was Conhost, this one over here, it's pretty fucking old. Uh, I, I think it's got like 20, 30 years, right? And it has a couple problems. Let's suppose you want uh, transparency. Well, you got it. Uh, here you go. But the text also becomes transparent, uh, which is a bummer. What if you want a bigger size of font? Okay, you need to open properties over here and um, select uh, this one. Now the people who cannot see properly, well, now they can see. But oh, it changes the size of the window. It's, uh, it's a fucking mess. Instead over here, you want things to be more opaque? There you go. You want it to be more transparent? There you go. Uh, a little bit bigger the text. There you go. Normal. Whatever. Pretty freaking nice. Uh, alternatives. Well, there are a couple. There's Commander. There's that uh, monstrosity of terminal of Terminus. We, that's, you know, a little bit big to say the least. That's what you said. And, you know, it's more like a new text editor than a terminal, right? It's got, like, all these options, right? But, you know, it also has, apparently, acceleration. There you go. Your ligatures. You guys that need ligatures. There you go. Um, Commander. I love it. Doesn't support a lot of graphical stuff. Um, fonts not working great all the time but it has been probably my favorite terminal in the case of windows well my second best but it's the one that i use the most and um, unfortunately um it, it it has its issues you had a good run uh commander so this one's pretty good one of the things that i did like uh, i do like about this one is that it's pretty customizable so you modify how it looks and how it works by modifying a regular uh, json file and uh, the changes that you make are um, saved uh, in real time so that's cool uh what else um that's it. That's basically it. You can configure everything you want. It has tabs uh, and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And Microsoft needed to, you know, uh, get uh, get on with the times, man. It's not that modern. This one is it's a good replacement to this thing over here. Like, what the fuck were you thinking? And OK, it's pretty nifty. So, I like it. There's nothing much that I can tell you. Uh, it's, a, it's a nightmare to build at this moment in time. 
Uh, the code, you know, it's obscure. It's uh, uh, it's getting better. Uh, there are people who are creating implementations and it's, you know, it's three days old for uh, uh, the general public. Uh, nonetheless, um, I really like it. And I, I don't know, Microsoft is getting its shit together. I don't know what's going on, but it's getting cool. Which is fucking weird. Also, uh, using um, Linux stuff with Microsoft, WSL2. Eh, I don't know how to feel about this, but let me know what you what you feel about it. Um, uh, as I showed you, you can modify uh, the terminal with the JSON file. I will leave a link to the JSON file, and yeah, good for you, Microsoft. Good for you.